Tampa police identifying a woman found dead in a Tampa neighborhood and neighbors believe she could have been lying in an overgrown empty lot for days. Good evening. I'm Jamison Euler and I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us. Our Clifton French is live along East New Orleans Avenue and Cliff. I understand you're hearing lawn crews found that body, right? Yeah, neighbors say they were here to cut uh, this lot and that body was in here obscured by overgrown weeds tonight. Neighbors tell me they believe that body had been here for days. I heard about five gunshots. Pow, 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 pow. That was Wednesday night. Romano Whitley says she called 911. I came outside and I looked. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear any cars. The dog was barking. Two days later, a maze of crime scene tape stretched across the front of her home. Directly across the street, the body of a young woman found obscured by weeds and overgrown grass. It turns out the woman found lived only a few blocks away on Ellicott Street. Her roommate, a lifelong friend, shared this picture of her with us. The photo, about 10 years old. Monica Hoffa was 32 when she lost her life. Police won't say how Hoffa was killed. Crime scene investigators enlisted the help from city landscaping crews, cutting away tall grass as they searched for evidence using metal detectors and taking photos. Tonight, this neighbor says she wishes she could have done more. You know, I'm in the health field. My neighbor's a pol police officer, my mom's a nurse and you know to know that we had someone that close there maybe if we would have known when she was there we could have may maybe helped save her some it's very very disturbing and Hoffa's roommate she can't hear she was actually uh, she can't speak either and she was communicating to me uh, by writing on this piece of paper right here now she says Hoffa has been missing for a couple of days she believes that Hoffa was walking home from work when she was killed I'm reporting live in Tampa tonight, Clifton French, ABC Action News.